Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Thumpin' Thursday with my boy, oh. Greg Cox. <laughs> Whoa, get that. That, yeah. Oh, that oh. Thumpin'. Okay. He's ready. I'm ready. Why don't I do that? Oh, yeah, done. Should, no. let, let's wait, wait. Can I do it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a really cool bass today. Let's check out what we got. It's a 59. EB2 Sunburst with the banjo tuners. Really, Ooh. really cool. Super early one. Uh, got some flats on here. It's got a beautiful straight grain uh, Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Wow, look at that fingerboard. So nice. Yeah, the fingerboard's gorgeous. The checking on this is perfect. There's no dings or dents in it. It's just a really well maintained early example of this bass. It's got the monstrous bass boost switch in there, you know, the boost circuit. And uh, yeah, it, and it plays like, literally like butter. It plays better than most guitars I've played. It's so fast and it just even, the frets are super healthy. Great burst, great checking, no belt wrap. Heavier no. bass, huh? Yeah, it's just Not so- Not too heavy, but definitely well, substantial. Yeah, I mean, it's got, you know, the solid, it's got the maple block down the middle there to keep it from howling too much, but big round um, mahogany neck, the checking all up and down the neck length oh, and the body. tuners, classic. Banjo, yeah, super cool. Yeah, you don't see me. Yeah, this is the first one I've seen with the banjo tuners. It's really cool. Really cool. Yeah, I've never seen it before. And the case is beautiful as well. Yeah, whoever owned this All original. Movie, Oh, oh. Shit. hang tags oh with gosh. the original price, $285. Wow. And sold. $57.50 for the case. Oh. Norm, we got to change our policy here. <laughs> with the original. Charge for the case separate. No, Mo Mona steel strings and the box. I mean, somebody really. I mean, who, who wouldn't know that a vintage guitar market would emerge like it has, you know, and to have the fortitude to take care of something this well back then. They knew, yeah, amazing, yeah. You know? So somebody really cared about this one, and it sounds great, plays great. We're going to take it out front, and we hope that you love it too. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, so make sure you put your uh, headphones in when you guys listen. Yeah, to yeah. It. Get that, get that low gonna, end. It's going to be very thumpy. Very, very thumpy. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to need something other than a phone to listen to it, for sure. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Hey everybody, this is Greg Coates here out front at Norm's Rare Guitars today with a 59 EB2. Beautiful sunburst bass, uh, really early, just amazing instrument. Great big baseball bat like neck with a banjo tuner, super cool. Uh, really great condition. Uh, someone must have bought this and just put it under the bed for a while because it's uh, it's in great shape. Super friendly neck to uh, feel. Uh, the frets are in great condition. Gorgeous piece of really straight green Brazilian rosewood on the neck. Uh, and the finish, the checking is spectacular. Uh, no real dings or dents that I can see, just amazing, uh, you know, uh, just natural aging on this instrument. And uh, the back's equally as, equally as clean, no buckle rash. Uh, yeah, this is a, an early model that was cared for greatly. Um, and uh, these has the uh, regular circuit in it. But also has the gigantic <laughs> low end boost built in, which is if you're a reggae player or like to play some country stuff that really want to move some subs, this is this is the bass for you. Kicks up a tremendous amount of bottom end, really dubby, really cool, really round, great fundamental bass sounds that only this kind of bass seems to be able to get. kinds of bottom end. <laughs> Real good. Shaking everywhere. Yeah. Huge bottom end. 
really great stuff for uh, if you want to really shake some some butts. This is a <laughs> great base. <laughs> um, maybe it will show the uh, the other circuit real quick here. This is your vast difference. This is much more of a kind of a traditional bass guitar sound. This is something that'd be great for uh, any kind of. Uh, back a little bit. This has flats on it currently, so this, and these are pretty warm. It's a lot of mid-range, mahogany body or, or uh, mahogany neck, maple body. It's going to have a little bit of a nice top end, but they'll have that mahogany warmth as well. Be the normal circuit without the ridiculous bottom end that the boost circuit gives. Here it is again in case you want to hear. It. bass with a bass boost awesome banjo tuners really really cool uh, tons of character and uh, just a fundamental beast if you really want to play some bass bass this is the bass to have <laughs> yeah this, this thing uh, will, will seriously shake some butts and make the, make the place boogie yeah this is beautiful really perfect example of this era of an instrument incredible checking incredibly good condition and it plays super easy it plays easier than some guitars i've played so come check this one out gibson 59 eb2 with uh sunburst and banjo tuners come on down to norms check it out <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> that was great